are home today. Going We're on, everybody. Not going out because I'm not feeling good. So, oh, it's on pause. How do I unpause it? How do we do that again? The uh, photo. Okay. Good. Yep. All right. Morning, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to our home. The wife's not feeling too good today, so we're not going out anywhere right and now. And it's gorgeous outside, too. Uh, so. But I decided we were going to... Andrew is going to actually cook dinner tonight. Actually. Well, cook, no, on I a weekday. Cook. On a weekday. Usually he cooks during, on the weekends. And holidays. And holidays. So he's cooking tonight. Because the daughter brought us home. I don't know why, because she never shops. Right, a pork tenderloin. So she brought us home a pork tenderloin, which means that she got it for her house, discovered what it was, and said she ain't eating it, she ain't cooking it, or she doesn't know how to cook it. I think the aunt brought it. And... I, well, her aunt probably brought it to her and was like, I ain't cooking this and decided to bring it to our house because my daughter is very finicky, like, with what she eats meat-wise. Very. She won't eat, like, she won't eat pork. She'll yeah. have steak sometimes, but not much, but she will not eat pork. But she'll eat ham. Yeah, right. Uh, go figure. But, um... <laughs> Which is the biggest form of pork you can get. Yeah. Alright. Well, I realized I had to... He does not follow recipes. He just throws stuff together. And it's excellent. Right. But this is going to be our process. Because well, it's going in a slow cooker. You know, so we're going to take our... You want, like, you eat, like, a three-pound on or so, or whatever you want, technically. You just scale down the ingredients, I guess. But, uh, three-pound pork tenderloin is perfect. For, you're just going to have to cut this one in half. But I also like to get rid of some of the fat on it. Because I just don't do fat at all. I can't stand it. It's chewy, it's slimy, it's gross. I don't really eat the fat either. Sometimes we'll give it to cats. the cats. Well, only when it's raw. Yeah, I'll give them a little bit of that. But and I remember the old myth that oh, giving animals raw food makes them raw meat makes them mean. No. Yes. My cats are big babies, but Bougie Boo is yeah. um, getting a little big. Have but any vet, they'll tell you raw meat's a better for your animals if you can afford it. He's gonna get the smell of meat in a couple minutes. No, and he'll be around. He'll be up here soon, and you'll hear his meow because yeah. his little ears are starting to perk up. Oh, I see he? he's on the bed right now. Uh, and but yeah, I just I just trim it down a little. I don't want to take all the fat off because it gives it flavor. But I like got with beef, it gives beef. Beef fat gives flavor. I'm not too sure about pork, but... In case any of you wonders, in the first year of us being together, I did cook. Yeah. But then... I started This cooking. was 17 years ago. And then he decided he was going to cook, and I discovered that he was a much better cook than me, and things tasted a lot better. <laughs> so I was like, why am I going to cook when his food tasted so so much better. So I was like, yeah, I, I'm done with this Chef Carla. And <laughs> Chef Andrew was born. Right. Meats mostly. I, I, I can cook a hell of a steak. I can cook this and that. But I cannot cook mac and cheese to save my ass. I mean. I know. <laughs> That's why I said that. That's why I said that. But, uh, yeah, I, I can't cook mac and cheese... It would either come out too soupy or clumpy. I just could never get the mixture of milk right. Milk and butter. And I don't know why. And then that's like my wife will not allow SpaghettiOs. That's any, not food. Or any like, <laughs> I love SpaghettiOs. That, that just smells wrong. I like, I like beefaroni and oh, spaghetti. Oh, that, that's just not food. To you. 
maybe it's the way I was brought up. Possibly. It's a little bit of white privilege, but... <laughs> hey. Ah, uh, yeah, there's one of them coming. She Who's smells it. Peanut? Yeah, she likes it, too. Yeah. Come on, P. No, no, no. This is a little princess peanut. P. No, she's gone. She's mad at me right now. <laughs> do you want to, um... Do you want me to get the strainer? No. Oh, uh, that's just, perfect. I uh, kind of cut your head off, though. That's okay. Watch, watch and cut this Do off. Do you want to see? Matter. No. As long as I know where the lens is. You don't want this right now? No. Okay. For what? To I, rinse the meat. No, I'm just going to rinse it. But you kept it. putting it on that strainer. That's just to hold it up. Yeah. That's just to hold it while I cut it. Just to get some a little bit more of the fat going. And then I'm almost done. Because then I'm going to cut it in. And I'm going to cut it into three pieces. Just to fit into the crock pot. Now, will this be like pulled? Yeah. Pulled pork? Yep. That's how it should come out. Like shredded pork. Yeah. Because the way that the tenderloin is. Alright. You know, we want to rinse your meat with cold water. You always rinse it with cold water. I always used to do it with warm water. Until they tell you that um, <laughs> there's bacteria on it, and bacteria spreads with hot water. I didn't know that. Mm hmm And that's funny because my sister's a cook, my father's a cook, my mother was a cook, yep. and they never taught me any of it. Mostly with chicken and stuff like that, but you, I'm just washing the blood off it, and the blood that comes in the bag with it and stuff, or the watering blood. Okay. My boogie bow. Rinse that stuff all off and it's nice boy. and clean. What are you doing? You being a good boy? And this is actually really, really easy to make. The ingredients are very basic. I don't know, you want to grab it so I can come over this way. With the camera, I mean. Oh. Because <laughs> that's plugged in. <laughs> I thought you want that. Well, well, first off, I'm going to use, um, I'm going to season it first with some smokehouse maple. No, it ain't going to fit that. What do you want me to do? Just point that over here. I, That's all I want you to do. Oh. Just watch it. I'm just going to season it with a bunch of smokehouse maple. I'm doing it over the sink so I can wash down, just wash the other stuff all right down. That's like the smallest thing you've ever done. Because you would just make a mess all over my kitchen. <laughs> like last night, we made dinner, and Andrew's dinner ended up on my kitchen floor. Oh, uh, yeah. Because my dumbass decided I was going to put the on the side of the sink here, and and uh, when I did... What's the matter, Peanut? It just kind of um, slid off when I bumped it with the pan. All right. <laughs> I'm going to take these. Nothing is ever quiet in this house. Oh, this way. Whoop. We have a these. smaller crock pot, don't we? Or is this nope. big enough? This is, this is going to be perfect. I'm going to put the pieces of meat right in there, just like that. Boom, boom, boom. I'll throw this one over here. And then I'm going to take... Do you want another pair of gloves? Nope. I'm going to use these. Then you take... <clears throat> I'm going to take eight ounces. Eight ounces okay, of... sorry. <laughs> she gets distracted by the cat. I was distracted. <laughs> and then I just take eight ounces of barbecue sauce and of whatever kind you want. They say a sweet kind is better, like a honey barbecue or whatever is better. Um... I don't know if it comes out better or what, but... We have the um, red, like... 
You That's so know I'm not a cook because I'm like the paintbrush thingy. <laughs> yeah, my the little um the barbecue brush. Yeah, he, I'm like paintbrush thingy. <laughs> the little barbecue brush. Just to get out the rest of the sauce, yeah. Then use it all. And just cover it up. Cover it good because it, its own juices will um fill in some of the stuff with the barbecue there. Alright. And then I mean you can add garlic and onions and whatever. I just don't like onions. <coughs> Garlic, I could add a little bit of garlic if you want, babe. No, I'm good. No? No. I'm a very plain person because I can't handle most things anymore. Yeah, I can't do this. Like, I have a, we have bold spicy, we have bold barbecue sauce that came with it. That came like the Jack Daniels, I think is what it was. And we have like the Caesar salad. Oh, the, Jim, the Jim Beam. Yeah. Like, I throw a little bit extra in here, but. That's. <clears throat> you know, I, I made sure it was mostly the honey. Because I can't do, not like a big baby or a uh, bitch or whatever. I just don't do hot stuff anymore because... We're older. I know. I mean, just put it on, set it for six to seven hours, it says, on high. And then we'll come back and check it when it's done. So, we will see you then. Um, do I hit on pause? You're all set, babe. Mm -hmm. Now we are back to checking set. dinner. A couple hours later, but we time good. Skip. Little time skip. Move it back. Come in. Let me get the fork. It went down a little bit, but it looks fabulous. And I'm not a meat eater. No, she's not a big pork person. I'm not a big meat eater. But you can see it comes out nice and tender and just mix it around. Shreds nice. Just put some in the bowl here. That was nice and shredded, and that's it. And that is it. So. Like I said, just a three pound roast. Eight ounces of bar any barbecue sauce you want. Well, how's it taste? Awesome. It's perfect. Um, let's cook it for anything but three, well, for, for well, a three that pound. That was kind of small, so it didn't take as long as we thought it was going to take. Yeah, for, for a three pound, it's like six to seven hours for this one it only took like four to five but and dinner for the next two days yeah like <laughs> hopefully um in the next couple of days we'll be able to go outside because i want to start my garden because my guy got sprouts i got my chives my cilantro and i'm starting my tomatoes inside i'm happy so hopefully i can get them out in my garden but we're gonna have dinner now so um i'm gonna try to upload this and do something to make it look better um <laughs> so well hopefully the weather will break so we can go out and uh test out the drone that we've had for about a month <laughs> i know it's been I so been so windy here that um windy or rainy or you don't uh, or you've been sick one in the other. all right so we hope you have a good evening and thank you for clicking on this and please like and subscribe and we hope you enjoy it and come back okay. so we'll see you in the next video Bye. See you later.